We take fresh striped bass, and then we finish cooking the fish in a fresh braise. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pan, and we're gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to this. All right, great. Now we're gonna build up our layers in the bottom of our fresh braise pan with pancetta. I've got some pancetta in the fridge here. And pancetta is bacon, but it's Italian bacon, and it's not smoked. So if you go to the grocery store and you walk through the deli section where you get ham and roast beef, they'll always have pancetta in there. You might, might want to have to ask for it by name. But it looks like a big, tight roll, and you might even think it's a salami. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pancetta, we're going to kind of open it up just a little bit because we want to kind of let this start to fry in the pan. And I almost want this to curl up like little pigtails. We're going to put this on top of our sea bass when we're done with it. It's going to be really, really delicious. Okay, so we're going to drop this into our pan here. Okay, let this start to cook and get crisp, all right? Bang, bang, bang. Okay, while it's starting to cook, we're going to talk about what else we're going to put into our braise. All right, we got some garlic. All right, we got some lemon. We got some fresh thyme. I love fresh thyme. Fresh thyme is like the herb for all seasons. And I've also got some bay leaves. So with the garlic, what we're gonna do is kind of take about three cloves. And then we're just gonna slice this stuff up really, really thin. As thin as you possibly get it with your knife. And then we're also gonna do the same thing with the lemons here. We just want really, really paper thin slices of lemon so they get really kind of jammy. And then what we're gonna do is take our fresh thyme, just gonna strip it backwards. And the leaves just start to fall off on your fingers. All right, great. So the pancetta's looking nice, guys. We're gonna use the crispy bits as a garnish. Take the pancetta out, let it drain, and we're just gonna sprinkle in our lemon, our thyme, and our garlic. And this is gonna be the base for our whole thing. Again, we're kind of building up layers of flavor. Pancetta, lemon, fresh thyme, garlic. To me, this tastes like spring. It smells delicious already. Pancetta, fat, and garlic, and they are buddies. Been friends for a long time. All right, so we're gonna take bay leaves, we're gonna drop these in as well, all right? Got a couple in here, and then we're gonna add some chicken stock to this, and then let this start to reduce down. This is gonna be the base for our dish. So our, uh, our delicious fish, it's gonna be crisp, and then almost um, sort of sit in a fantastic broth, uh, which is gonna be a really light sauce. Chicken stock's going in. Turn the temperature down just a little bit. Let this start to simmer and thicken. Okay, escarole. Now, if you've never picked this up at the store before, it is bitter, but bitter in kind of a nice way, like almost like an adult kind of way. It's got a great flavor to it and a great texture. So we're gonna cut the root off the bottom, and then we're just gonna take these leaves, right? I've got two heads. It looks like a lot, but once it starts to cook down, it really starts to shrink quite a bit. I've got a little bit of escarole, it's starting to wilt down. It's just creamy, it's really nice. Salt and pepper for sure, okay? A little salt, a little fresh cracked pepper. And then I'm gonna smooth it out with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. It's gonna give it a chance to start to amalgamate and start to kind of thicken up a little bit, right? All right, and then I think I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of sugar. And it's gonna be absolutely delicious. All right, so that's almost finished, guys. Okay, let's talk about our fish for a second. Now, I've got some beautiful fillets of line caught wild striped bass, all right? I love it, it's gonna taste absolutely delicious. First things first, wet fish does not sear, it steams. That's not what we're gonna do here. Take the fish, all right, we're gonna put it onto a paper towel, and we just wanna blot the excess moisture off of the striped bass. Great texture, it just tastes clean. It's extraordinary. And then we're gonna season this up, some good salt and pepper, that's it. You want fish to taste like fish, not really anything else. You need a, a dry rub or a seasoning mix or anything on top of this. And then I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna blot off the other side so the skin's nice and dry. I'm also gonna season it at the same time. This looks great. Say it with me, hot pan, room temperature olive oil, slight smoke, nonstick. We're at that perfect temperature, and now it's time to start searing. It needs to go skin side down first. It gets crispy like a piece of bacon, it's awesome. You need a spatula. You just wanna push the fish down right in the middle to flatten the skin out so it makes real clear contact with the bottom of the pan. Okay, is that starting to cook away? Now let's talk about our clams for a second. Take a look at these guys. Okay, so we got some clams here. Now these are little neck clams. We're gonna take our clams and we're just gonna tuck them into our broth here and they're just gonna start to open up. And it's just gonna be oceany and delicious, guys. It's gonna be really, really excellent. All right, perfect, those are looking great. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of my bowl here. 
All right, now let's talk about our fish here for a second. Now I promise you a nonstick pan, right? Take a look at this. Nothing ever sticks. Hot pan, room temperature, olive oil, bring it up to a slight smoke, and then drop it in, bang. It never sticks. Okay, so we're gonna take this fish out. This is hot, be careful. Now look at that. It's so crispy you could strike a match on it. That's what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fish and we're gonna gently just kind of nestle this into our braise here, our fresh braise. Don't get the skin wet, it's crispy. All right, so guys, take a look at this. How are we gonna plate this up? All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of our esk roll. We're gonna put this right in the bottom. A Couple of these little neck clams and kind of pile them around here. Take this gorgeous piece of crispy striped bass and we're just gonna nestle it right on top. Then we're gonna take some of our broth out. We're gonna finish it with a couple pieces of crispy pancetta. Nice piece of parsley on top, and then a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Crispy, striped bass, escarole, lemon and clams. Spectacular. Guys, this is springtime in a bowl. Let's try that. It's fresh and light. All right, look at that. The fish just flakes off. Can you see that, how moist it is? All right, when you get sort of braise the whole thing. Oh, my God. Mmm. I could eat that every night of the week. That's so great. It's rich. And you get that contrast. Crispy skin and that soft underbelly, spectacular.